video tech tip of the day is dealing with uh, advanced uh, rear derailleur adjustment with high low limits and these are your high low limits these uh, back out screws right here uh, usually you're going to find a letter associated with these uh, screws one being H and one being L uh, the H is being your high limit and this will be dealing usually with your lower cog uh, your low limit is going to be your bigger cog here and what you need to do is if you see this line here with your rear derailleur it needs to be lined up with your lower cog for the higher limit and as you can see right now we're not so we're going to need to make this adjustment and before we make this adjustment <clears throat> first things first uh, I'm going to go through all my gears and see what kind of rear derailleur I have there is two different versions of uh, rear derailleurs uh, you're dealing with your standard rear derailleur where you start from the bottom cog and work your way up where a rapid rise rear derailleur will start from the bigger cog and work your way up and one way to uh, find out what type of rear derailleur you're doing is uh, shift your uh, gears up <clears throat> let's come up to the middle and I'm gonna stop right there and I'm gonna come back to uh, my tension dealing with my cable and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unscrew this and get rid of the tension on the rear derailleur And when you do this, this should actually drop down, drop the chain to its natural starting position, whether it's the top cog or the lower cog. So now I'm going to pedal, and as you can see, I've dropped down to the lower cog. But as you can notice as well, I haven't <clears throat> dropped all the way down to the lower cog. Coming back to that issue where we need to make that adjustment with our high-low limit. So as you can see, we're off. So <clears throat> I'm going to come to the screw here that has the association uh, letter meaning uh, L I mean H, I'm sorry so here's my high limit <clears throat> so I want you guys to watch this rear derailleur and uh, see when uh, it is lined up with the lower cog so I'm going to turn this in as you can see the rear derailleur moving and about right there as you can see I am set up with the lower cog now when I uh, <clears throat> come to pedal it my chain should actually drop to my starting position my natural starting position so now you guys uh, can see that now we're properly set up with our high limit to our lower cog here so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna come back to that cable that we loosen and we're gonna retension it and one thing we need to do before we do this, we want to back our barrel all the way in <clears throat> and then take two clicks out. Alright, so now I'm going to get that cable. I'm going to retension my rear derailleur, pull it as tight as I can, and tighten that cable. So now we're starting at the natural position that we need to start. <clears throat> so I'm going to pedal and now I'm going to go through all the gears so I get up to my lower limit. And as I do this, I'm going to uh, be dealing with barrel adjustment like we talked about earlier in the tech tip of barrel adjustment. And this is to fine tune your uh, rear derailleur. <clears throat> so I'm going to go up one gear. And if you notice, it hasn't gone up, so I'm going to make that adjustment. I'm going to turn it in until that gear moves up. There it is. And you want to hear it move up nice and clean. So I'm going to back down. I'm going to go through the gear again. Make sure everything is shifting right, nice and clean. All right. And there I am. So now we're coming back to our low limit to adjust this uh, rear derailleur to our uh, higher, our lower cog. So I'm going to go to the screw and you're going to see the rear derailleur adjust as well. Can't really see it but it is moving. Now I'm properly lined up as you can see with my rear derailleur. So now, I'm going to go through all the gears again, I'm going to drop it down once, and now I'm going to shift up, and I should not have hesitation like I had before. There it is. 
So I'm going to drop down all the way to my lower cog. I'm going to go through all the gears and it should shift nice and smooth. And that is dealing with high-low limits with your rear derailleur. I'm Devin Gonzalez and that was your video tech tip of the day. Thank you.